Hey folks, welcome to our weekly chat. Thanks for joining me. Um, I'm just uh, putting in a comment, which is going to be a link to a an article that we're going to talk about today. Um, and uh, but first, I want to thank you for the great feedback. L last week's topic was actually quite well received. I was excited to see people uh, responding so well to it when we were talking about um, uh, pictures, uh, especially at the end when we were talking about photographs and how we have to be careful how what we're seeing in old photographs might not be um, uh, reality, uh, where people often knew they were getting their portraits taken or photographs taken, and so they dressed up. So it didn't really show everyday life. Um, people didn't always dress up as, as nicely as they uh, uh, appeared in photographs, even uh, photographs that seemed casual. And I had even one person thank you for posting an old picture uh, that showed people obviously uh, dressed up um, for a baseball game. Now, people did dress up more than they do today, but um, it is interesting to see um, some of them are so obvious. Uh, people wearing their best jewelry fur coats out in the middle of the summertime. I've seen a couple of those since then. Um, so it, it's quite interesting to see how people wanted to look their best in photographs. So what we're seeing of the old days isn't necessarily a uh, reality of everyday life. But um, so thanks for that feedback and keep the comments coming. Uh, likewise, this idea this week, uh, the topic this week um, has come up a couple times and I've been meaning to talk about it in a couple weeks because it's come up a few times in my um, correspondence with folks, just what I've noticed, some uh, requests um, that come in for information um, and just in casual conversation is the difference between, and I didn't even know the terms uh, uh, before I started doing research about it. I, I knew there was a difference, but the difference between anniversaries and what we call ordinals. And I've seen on a couple occasions, and I've come across on a couple occasions in recent months, and uh, I won't say with who because I don't want to embarrass anybody or uh, point them out because it's happened uh, so often in the past as well, uh, and I'll talk about that too is people mixing up and i've done this too and i, I so during t today's chat i am going to mix up and get myself confused a little bit because the topic is really confusing um where is something an annual event especially uh, uh, uh and the best example i can give is carol cade last year the annual the 50th annual carol cade was held uh and that meant it was the 50th event we had 50 carol cades before that including the one during covid that was uh put together um uh, virtually uh so 50 it was the 50th annual event it was not the 50th anniversary of the first carol cade and these things get mixed up quite a bit so the this year actually to 2023 will be the 50th anniversary of carol cade the first official carol cade uh, which for those who are not watching from East Aurora is our annual Christmas caroling event um, here in the community. Uh, we made a big deal last year about the 50th anniversary uh, or 50th carolcade. See, I'm mixing it up already. Uh, that first official carolcade was held in 1973. Um, that meant that the first one was number one. And then if you go forward, the 50th carolcade would have been held in 20. 22 and this year in 2023 will be the 50th anniversary meaning it's been 50 years since the first one there is a difference well this isn't the first time um i've that uh, i've come across this and actually i was looking up an old article um in an issue of the easter advertiser uh in december and i came across a, a um uh an an article that was talking about the 10th annual Carol Cade in the 1980s. And they actually made a mistake in the newspaper by saying that the um, first Carol Cade was held in 1972 because they just did the math wrong. Uh, so that, that uh, they were saying the 10th annual Carol Cade in 1982, and someone made the assumption that that meant, oh, subtract 10 years, 1972 was the first Carol Cade. Not in realizing that the um, ordinal, meaning that the uh, 10th annual Carol Cade was going to be in 1982, is not the same as the anniversary, uh, 
which would come the next year. The 10th annual Carol Cade would be in 1983. So similarly today, we have um, the same thing happening where the 50th annual Carol Cade was last, was last year um, and the 50th anniversary of Carol Cade will be this year. Now, uh, I've seen this happen in a couple places where I uh, someone had sent me an email and again, I'm not gonna uh, uh, say who, uh, but they were planning for uh, the 50th season of something, and, or not 50th, excuse me, there was a, a milestone season that they thought um, uh, uh, over a hundred years old, uh, this uh, certain of, uh, event, and this was going to be the um, uh, 150th, I believe, I could be wrong, of, um, of this annual occurrence. And I had to write back and kind of ask, be like, well, according to my math, unfortunately, we already missed the milestone year because we were thinking in the terms of anniversaries rather than ordinals. So um, uh, one of the things, and then I saw it again, someone had uh, posted uh, somewhere that they were celebrating an anniversary um, when in fact they were doing the exact opposite where they were considering the um, entering, they were entering a milestone year rather than um, the anniversary. And so they had added, actually added a year onto their, um, onto their age um, and saying that they were having a, a, a milestone anniversary when in fact they were entering the year of that milestone. So why is this important? My friend uh, um, who I listen to, I don't know her personally, but Heather Cox Richardson, who um, if you don't follow her, she's a fantastic um, historian who does similar, um, I'm, I'm sort of modeling how I do these uh, informal talks uh, by um, what she has done. Um, kind of borrowing the idea on a local level. But I follow her quite a bit. And she actually mentioned in a recent um, uh, uh, live stream that she did was why, you know, one of the things that historians, one of the historians job is to explain um, why it's important today and why something is important from the past and what does it mean. And so something I learned and something I'll try and I've learned it in college, you know, uh, collecting things is great. Collecting old photos and talking about old events is great. But um, uh, my college professors uh, would in, ingrain that thought into me and Heather Cox Richardson uh, more recently as to why is it important? So um, why is it important that there's a difference between uh, uh, anniversaries uh, and ordinals? And um, the reason is you can get yourself really mixed up. For instance, if you're trying to find something, um, uh, an, uh, something that happened, uh, the inaugural event of something, and uh, you're basing it off the wrong information, whether um, you think it's the ordinal and it's actually the anniversary or the anniversary is ordinal, you might have trouble finding um, that uh, information uh, in the past. In, for instance, if you were thinking that the first Carol Cade was held in 19... Uh, 72 rather than 1973 because you got the ordinals and anniversaries mixed up you might have trouble researching that information and finding it um, and so that's one probably most important reason why this is important is because um, you you want to make sure that uh, um, you're, you're looking in the right place for the right information so annual events that happen it's quite interesting the article that i posted and um, this was sent by somebody that i was chatting with about it and of course i don't have permission um uh to uh, tell you who that is but it's somebody from the community who we were talking about this exact topic and they sent this article to me so i didn't find this on my own so thanks to that person um but the, the in the article they're talking about the baseball teams and how they um were celebrating the milestone season or which is different than the anniversary of the this particular um, sports venue that was um, that they were celebrating the anniversary of and they made the claim in the article that we as Americans we as humans uh, like to celebrate anniversaries more than we do ordinals but in fact um, it all depends I think on what you're talking about um, for instance, Carol Cade, uh, we celebrated the 50th annual Carol Cade last year. So something like um, something that has an annual event or a season, I think we would perhaps celebrate um, the uh, the um, ordinal of it rather than the anniversary. So for instance, last year, I think we the 50th annual event was more important than the 50th anniversary of it. Um, but also if uh, the birth of something, so a birth of a, a, a local business 
um, something without a season or a, a year, um, they would tend, our birthdays are the perfect example. We don't celebrate us entering our 50th year. We celebrate the 50th anniversary of our birth um, or the 40th anniversary of our birth or that, that sort of thing. So I think it really depends. You can't talk about um, everything in the same context in the same way. So how we celebrate or commemorate something is is very much based off of um, what kind of thing it is. If it's a birth or an event, a singular event, um, the War of 1812, the signing of the Declaration of Independence, we celebrate the anniversary. But if it's an annual event that continues on, we would tend to, I would think, um, or uh, um, something with a season, a sports season, um, the, you know, Shays or Buffalo Philharmonic, they would celebrate their season, um, the 50th season, the 100th season, probably more than they would celebrate um, the anniversary of the founding of them. Or they celebrate both, which is something which is very interesting. I think, um, it, it, why not celebrate both um, and, uh, um, and, and have two reasons to celebrate something or commemorate something. Um, but w another reason this is important is if you're planning something, I know a lot of folks who um, pay attention to what I'm talking about and uh, might be interested in history. If you have a, um, an organization that you're involved with and you're looking toward uh, finding um, a reason to celebrate an anniversary is if you want to celebrate a season or celebrate um, uh, uh, an ordinal, be prepared um, and think ahead. Uh, and, and so that's important too, is to figure out what, what thing you're going to celebrate. So, um, it's important to know, um, when it comes to studying the past, cause you want to make sure you've got the right year and you're looking in the right place for historical information. Um, and also the future is to, if you're trying to plan something, um, whether or not it's the anniversary or the ordinal. So there is a difference. So I'd welcome your comments on this because, um, I, I, hopefully this will just be the start of the conversation. Um, because um, it's one of those th uh, uh, elephants in the room when it comes to history where we kind of just don't think it's a big deal and we kind of ignore it or we, we don't talk about it a lot. Um, and I couldn't find a whole lot of stuff written about it. Um, but the difference between um, what is an anniversary and what is not an anniversary, and I see it be being made as mistakenly a lot, myself included. Um, so we fall into the trap of mixing up the ordinals and the anniversary. So it's one of those things about history that's kind of um, fun to talk about, um, but it does get us into some traps um, when, it, when it comes to our study of history. So, um, and it is important. Um, it may seem like a trivial matter, but um, when it comes down to it, it is really an important um, a distinction between the anniversaries and the ordinals. All right, thanks for joining me again. I really appreciate this time that uh, um, people are listening and, and sending comments. Um, again, it's a great way besides my writing to be able to um, uh, discuss history um, in more broad broad topics. In the coming weeks, I'm actually gonna get into um, um, some more, uh, there's some great suggestions out there, deeper um, topics, uh, one being, and there might be actually a couple weeks with topics that fall into the category of, um, is there reasons why we should censor history? Is there some things that we shouldn't talk about from history? So that'll be, there's a couple things that um, right here in East Aurora that tend not to get talked about because it's uncomfortable um, uh, and it's easier just to ignore it. And so I'll talk about those things um, as we get into October. Again, I am the town and uh, village historian, but uh, these videos, I don't speak for my employer or, or the town or village when I um, do these videos and, and my research. So. Um, these are separate, um, uh, this is a separate project for me. Uh, again, thanks for the comments. Uh, I always get the best ideas from you, so please send them along either um, in the comments or in a private message. Um, and uh, we'll see you next week. And as always, thank you for keeping history alive. I appreciate it.